There have been nearly a dozen pipeline explosions in 2016, causing fires, damaging homes, injuring more than 25 people, and even killing some. This is a big reason why people are protesting the Dakota Access Pipeline. Two point five million miles of aging pipes run through American soil, and every year leaks and ruptures lead to deaths and oil spills. A stakeholder in the North Dakota Pipeline Project, which has sparked months of protests, was responsible for one of the worst oil spills in U.S. history that polluted the Kalamazoo River in Michigan in 2010. Pipeline explosions continue to expose residents to toxic chemicals, contaminate drinking water, and damage homes and businesses. Oil companies have also threatened indigenous communities. Keystone Pipeline, another divisive project, runs close to tribal lands and over major aquifers, causing fear that future leaks will damage water supplies and sacred lands. To make matters worse, the government's pipeline safety program is chronically underfunded, meaning the oil industry ends up doing the inspections itself. So maybe companies should listen to the people who know this land best before it's too late. At any time, that pipeline can break and that will contaminate our water. And if it contaminates our water, what water will our children be able to drink? What water will we be able to drink? 